Okay, so not that I am epic. Next. Um, so he's all Ike probably. What? So we already saw Mexican take it over K9. That's right. Uh, with the Ike. I'm he's sure that's what good. we're gonna be seeing as well. I don't just know. Don't know if Puppy's gonna give him the same reads that K9 yeah. did, and that allowed him to close out that set so convincingly. But we'll see. Ike is a very strong character, as we saw in the, in the last game. He's got a pretty strong combo game, too. Three, two, um, one, I don't know. What do you think about this matchup? I think Squirtle is going to be hell to deal with for Ike, and we're seeing it already. Down throw into two up airs. Goes for the, uh, hydro, or the water gun as well. Yeah, Ike does have those disjoints, which make uh, fighting Squirtle a little easier, but the problem is Squirtle has a lot of speed, and yeah. uh, uh, a lot of what Ike wants to do is going to be pretty committal. Down throw into the up air. Yeah, okay. So, Mexican managing to get some damage on here. And nice. Uh, on his air. Maybe Puppy thought, Puppy thought he would move or something. Dump throw into the up B, but it's not going to connect. Good DI from Mexican going to get him out of it. Jab's going to force it Puppy onto the ledge, but some Razor Leaf's just going to fight his way back into center. There, looks for a back throw, but doesn't find a back throw. He's gonna try and put Pepe on the ledge, but great Fodor fights his way out of the corner once again. Back air, not getting the sweet spot, but I think uh, Pepe just wanted to get him off him at that point. Up, up throw, 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 yeah. 100% gone on that platform. Yeah, and you gotta watch out for those grabs under the platforms when you're fighting Charizard, because that can be an early kill option. Yeah, and we're seeing Pepe staying on the uh, Charizard here just because of the high percent he's at. dead. Yeah, great two frame right there from Pape. Do you get your jump back from two frames? Nope. Yeah. Not, not, no, not, no, not anymore. Not, not anymore. Okay, yeah. So. I feel like I should know that. Now I do. Alright. More down throws, so. Mexican putting on some more damage, putting on this pressure, putting Puppy in a bad spot, getting on more damage. But he's still got a hill to climb. He's getting all these grabs. Yeah, he's really just made it impossible for Puppy to land, but actually a great mix up right there with the up air leads into another one, and yeah, now this is so much damage for Puppy. That's it. Oh, one landing up air led into that entire stock. After all that, Puppy landed five moves and it was over. Four of them were up air. <laughs> yep. That move is good. One might say that. <laughs> what? One might say that, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, huge hitbox. I, I think the down air used to be the same size, too, but they had to nerf it because it was down air was pretty low at the mid stage, yeah. It's still a, still a really good move. Really good move, yeah. I can't tell you the amount of times I've dropped low against an Ivysaur, and I thought I could like sneak around the hitbox, but I just get hit by it anyway. <laughs> All right, Puppy with a convincing game one, but Mexican hasn't gotten hit yet. And I'm really okay. I didn't curse it yet. It's gonna happen. Oh, another grab. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, there's the down throw, goes for the down air as well, and going to be able to combo in so many up airs. That was so much damage. Lord. You know, I kind of feel like Pokemon Trainer is similar to Shulk in Smash 4 in that you can have that ability to live longer, but you, you have the different modes that you can switch for between. Shulk's changed because you can't stay in, these, in the modes anymore. But uh, Pokemon Trainer, you can switch to Charizard and use it forever. Yeah. Oh, and that Gold Smash actually catching him on the ledge is crazy. I didn't know it hit that low. Sure. Yeah, uh, it's Mex actually. I, I see a lot of Pokemon Trainer go for that. I, 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 yeah, but I mean, I feel like Mexican Fly was safe to just go on the ledge and wait it out, but instead, Puppet goes gray and actually took the stock with it, even though. 
Yeah, but uh, this game's still closer than the previous one as Mexican takes out that stock. He's doing a good job when he when he gets Pepe in disadvantage. Um, about putting on a lot of damage and just using that disjoint to make it difficult for Pepe to get back to control. Alright, two nairs in the back row. Gonna keep this damage even. But as I say that, double back row for Pepe will get some more damage. Great call out on the jump right there. Up throw, waits for the jump and gets an up air afterwards. And now Mexican is taking a full stop. Yeah. Attack. All it can get at that point, but you know, he'll take the damage at this point. Wow. Yeah, that's the sort of the downside of switching to Charizard is although you have that kill power, if you are unable to find that kill, you can end up taking a lot of damage because his character is so big. Okay, goes for the spike. Nice attack. That was a bit overzealous right there with that side beat, but okay, goes for the Squirtle Switch. I mean, you got it at this point if you want to bring it back, because he's really got the combo game. I feel like at, any, at this point, Charizard's still going to die to random hits from Ice anyway. Ooh. Oh, he punishes the Switch. Nice. Yeah, Mexican finally doing that. Pepe had gone away with one too many switches from Mexican. Yeah. All right, and all of a sudden, we're 1-1. One, one. It looked, I mean, watching that first game, I would have said that Mexican probably doesn't really have a chance here, but uh, really stepping it up the second game, and uh, now we have a game three situation. One Yoshi story, but we're running that here. I guess we're gonna run it. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I like Yoshi's story. I'm glad we're seeing it. I just wish Randall was in the thing without, you know, all the other hazards. So I feel like that's such an iconic character in this game. That little cloud that runs at the bottom if, you, if you're not familiar with the melee. Uh, Alright, but this small stage working out great here for the Ike. Just saying, you know what, my sword is going to cover all of this space on the small stage you pick. And I'm gonna run with it. Yeah, a smaller stage definitely comes with some downsides for uh, Pokemon trainer. Uh, but I, I think maybe uh, probably one of the platforms, and he didn't want to give Battlefield to uh, Ike because he's able to cover the platforms pretty well with the swords. Sword if. Um, he looks for the down throw into the upbeat, but because it was nerfed in those last couple patches, it isn't gonna kill. Interesting choice with the up air onto stage, and Puppy's gonna punish up so quickly. Yeah, Puppy just waited for What that. a response! Yes, but the immediate response, uh, Mexican doing a good job stemming the bleeding. Uh, you don't want to give uh, a player or a Squirtle a lead, you know. It's. In Smash, a lead is. Makes things hard. <laughs> because your opponent can just play with so much more. Oh! And a great water gun right there, but it actually pushes Mexican up onto the platform where Puppet is not able to punish him. There's no double jump on Mexican. He recognizes it. Air dodges yeah. into the blast so. And Puppet with a huge lead here. But we saw a Mexican that last game, he really just fired off towards the end and was able to keep Puppet in disadvantage. Put up a lot of damage. So I'm not counting him out just yet, but it is looking grim as Puppe finds that combo there. It's starting to look kind of painful here for Mexican. The thing is, Puppe is only, I mean, he switched to Ivasaur, but he's only a few hits away from death. I mean, uh, Mexican killed Puppe at his first stock with a back air at 90% near the, uh, near the edge of the stage, to be sure. But. Uh, this character can definitely kill, really. and he should get the kill right here. No, yeah. Charizard being really big. Yeah, definitely close, but not enough for a... Okay. Yeah, he, 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 next one needs to watch out for the grab here, because uh, Charizard can get that up throw at that top platform. 
Yeah, once again, we saw Ike up throw and then wait for a jump and punch with an up air to take the stock. This could be big for him. He's going to get something going here with the neutral with that air dodge. But you can't beat yourself up about something like that at a point like this. Uh, you just have to look for more openings. Play patient. And uh, this game is now a close one. As uh, the deficit between these players is only 50% and shrinking. Oh, we drawn a crowd right now. Oh, oh. And the backer. And now close out game number three here is winner semifinal. So we are in best of five territory. Pokemon, oh, we are in winner. Okay. So this uh, game, I assume this was out of three, but uh, no, Mexican will have another shot at this. I right, FD going to be the pick here. Mexican saying you got way too much. Uh, off of those platforms. Okay, T.O. moving over to yeah, inform No, we, we do not actually have Yoshi's story in our state for this. Yeah, we are on the SoCal rule set uh, and not the main stage one, which is actually separate. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have to imagine that uh, Pape maybe uh, was thinking that that we have the same rules to set as main stage. Yeah, main stage I'm wondering the uh, big house rules, but yeah. we don't have those here in SoCal. We uh, don't use Lila or Yoshi Story. Yeah, I'm wondering if he uh, subjected other players to that during his full pool run. I don't know. I like the big house rules, so it's what it is. Yeah, well, they're going to FD anyway, but it looks like... Now the information has been uh, communicated, or the rules have been for the future. But I, I have to imagine maybe Mexican is a little salty about that. Can't, can't really let that get to him. Oh my God! Oh. Nair into the vine whip. Not gonna kill far off the side because Mexican had some good DI right there, but. Puppy's been on point getting these snipes. That's gonna be a down air catch. This might be a legend. That zero to death. Zero to death. Down throw bear. That's 28%. But can he counter zero to death? And he looks for it. And that's it, but he drags him down one for one. I feel like Puppy takes that any day of the oh, week, though. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and the crowd has dissipated at this point. Yeah, everyone kind of losing a bit of their. You know, hope in this set. This has gone downhill very fast for Mexican. Yeah, I think uh, definitely has an accusable recovery in the same match uh, from Pape. Very uh, clever on his part. And uh, this is looking so rough for Mexican right now. He's down so much. He almost brought it back last game, but he was, he's even at more of a deficit at this point. Yeah, side B into the up here now, do it. Pape taking it 3 1 over next game. Alrighty, Mexican managed to take a game, but yeah, Pape. Couldn't quite close it.